What's going on, people? Seth here. Another edition of What Grinds Seth's Gears. I can't remember what episode I'm on. I think it's 7 or 8, 9. I don't know. Day off. So I'm just chilling with a 40 ounce. About to go watch some TV. And uh, just in celebration of the Scream TV series being on, uh, on Netflix now. I'm fiddling around with the old Buck 119, which is commonly used in the show and the movie series. For those of you that are interested in this knife, check out my review. It's available like everywhere. Um, you can buy this on Amazon, Walmart, eBay, wherever you want to go. So, probably wondering what is going to be grinding my gears tonight. How many men, how, how, how many people have seen Demolition Man? I started to say how many men, but how many people in general have seen Demolition Man? Raise your hand. I know I've seen it a thousand times. Great movie. Something fiddle with. Great movie. Um, classic Stallone, uh, Wesley Snipes, a few other people. Sandra Bullock looked really hot in the movie. Just a good movie. But if you look at the, if you look at the future, how everyone's turning into fucking panty waste. And everything offends them. And you can't curse. You can't have sex. You can't blah, 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 blah. Look at the world we're in now, guys. It used to be 50 or 60 years ago, you had young men, you know, in their late teens, 18, 19, willing to put their lives on the line for, the, you know, for this country. And you still have them, but they're slowly, they're slowly diminishing. Excuse me. Um, you have guys that do not believe in firearms and, uh, weapons and just things like that in general. And, you know, regardless of what you want to believe, what fantasy world you're living in, evil does exist. And, and I'm not going to get into religion type evil. I'm talking about just an asshole who wants to come in here to your house, fuck you up, kill you, take your money, rape your woman, whatever you want. You know, whatever he's got in his mind. And unless you accept that reality, you're living in a fantasy world. And it's really scary to think that these people are becoming more and more abundant. You know, where the man is just not a man you know he he uh, he's got a wife and kid but he's really you know just feminine you know he's talks really feminine he doesn't believe in being you know combative or whatever and it's like what would you do if someone if you know if you're walking down down the street or down the sidewalk some guy just hits your wife I mean what are you gonna do are you going to go into your safe zone? Are you going to go over here and cry? Be a man. And that's what grinds my gears tonight, guys. Is I look around and I see more and more males are not really men anymore. They just... I don't get it. You know, I saw this Facebook post my friend David posted. And uh, it was, you know, one of these liberal couples, you know, man and woman together. And she's like... I'm against the military. We need to bring our military home. My husband will never own any firearms or any guns or anything like that. And the guy just stand there like this. Yes, dear. Yes, honey. So, what would your, you know, what would your thought process be if you're sitting at home sipping on your Starbucks and you got two or three guys in ski masks to kick your door in? But you believe in firearms then. I'm not saying be violent. I'm just saying if you want to if you want peace, prepare for war. That's an old saying, and uh, that's just what grinds my gears. Men who do, men who do not want to step up to the plate and be men. I'm not saying you got to be John Rambo carrying a machine gun in your trunk, but be prepared to defend you and your family's life, and just be a man. Take control of things. Take charge of things. You know, just be a man. That's all I gotta say. That's what grinds my gears tonight, guys. Peace and say my name. I'm going to limit these rants to five minutes. That's why I have the new, uh, the new format here. See you later.